Uh, good morning, Megan. Would you like to uh, tell me a bit more about Open Homes, please? Um, yeah, so Open Homes is a charity that uh, works with homeless 16 to 25 year olds. Um, we provide two projects at the moment, Nottingham Night Stop and Supported Lodgings. Um, so our, our vision is to um, place young people in family homes, um, host families homes. So it's not just giving them a roof over their head, it's also giving them that support right there uh, where they need it. Um, so Nottingham Night Stop, as I said, is our uh, emergency accommodation that works on a night by night basis. Um, so the young person, um, goes in the evening they're collected by one of our drivers and is taken to the host family's home um, and they stay overnight they have a meal with the family and um, they have their own room for the night we provide them with toiletries um, you know underwear anything they might need for the night and um, they get a meal the next day and then um, they go off back to the referral agency to look for longer term accommodation um, and does that happen every day of the week it does, yeah, yeah. Monday to Sunday, every day, um, we've got um, referrals happening. And yeah. it's uh, ages sixteen to twenty-four. Is that right? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's really helpful. And are there a lot of people in that age who are potentially homeless in an evening? Um, yes, yeah, so it really varies. So some nights we might have three young people that need hosting and other nights we might just have one or sometimes we might not have any. So it really does vary completely. Some months are absolutely hectic and we're you know, doing 40 bed nights and other months we're only doing a few. Um, so it really does vary hugely. Goodness. And it must make such an impact to the young people to not have to spend the night on the streets in, you know, in what is a potentially a very vulnerable, uh, dangerous situation. And I guess there must be some long term benefits to them and the hosts going forward. Um, yeah, so I mean, um, so our, our night stop is part of the national night stop, and they've done a lot of research into, into, you know, that it's not just about giving someone a bed for the night. And the fact that they're in with a family and seeing that environment can make such an impact on a young person who's seeing that because they might have come from, I mean, most of them have come from really difficult backgrounds where they've not been supported, they've not got, all, you know, their needs met. And just seeing how families can be different can give them that inspiration to then, you know, think bigger for themselves after that um, ongoing in the future. Fantastic. And weren't you saying something about one of your first hosts uh, and, and how they have a relationship with their person because they went on to have a baby? Is that right? Yeah, so our, our second project, Supported Lodgings, um, is a longer term project. So the young person lodges up for up to 12 months with a, uh, with a host family. Um, and so, yeah, the first one that we did of that, um, the young lady was pregnant. Um, she was hoping to have moved out um, into um, her own accommodation before baby was born, but that didn't happen. And actually, it turned out really well because it did mean that she had the host there. Um, when the baby was born, you know, they were able to take her to hospital, help her with breastfeeding and all the other bits and bobs there with raising the child. Um, but yeah, in the, in the longer term, so that was a few years years ago and actually those those hosts are still in contact with that young person now and 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 she sees them as the, the British grandparents she calls them yeah. um of her her children she's got two now so um so that that contact's still there and that support's still there and she's still living in the in the place that we found for her when she moved out of supported lodgings which is really great that is such a lovely story and in terms of uh trying to prevent people from being homeless and help them on their recovery it's such a key uh place in their life isn't it that what um, you're doing through your work so a really important job and you had drivers as well so they pick up people and just take them if they have if you haven't got a home that you could get involved in this um, going could. forward. Yeah, and also with our night stop project, I mean, if you haven't got a specific room that you've always got free, but maybe, I don't know if you're different lodges in the house and, and two people could share a room and free up a room, that's still a possibility for the night stop project, obviously, because it's only a night at a time. Um, so if, if that works for your family or you've got two kids that can share a room for the night, that's also a possibility. So it's not that you have to always have a room. Um, obviously, for the supported lodgings, um, it's a long term thing and you, you do get paid rent for that. And there is a support worker as well that, that helps out. Um, so if you are thinking of getting a lodger in, you might want to think, could I help a homeless young person instead? Fantastic. What a brilliant project. Thanks for your time. You must be very busy. Really appreciate speaking Thank to you. you. Thanks.